away Days burn disintegrate Years roll along and fade Don't let them slip away Right here, right now, today These are the good old days Right here, right now, today When Mattel came out with the Masters of the Universe in 1982, it reigned supreme. It was the first toy brand in years to topple both Hot Wheels and Barbie. It set the standard for the action figure era, and it ran wild for years. But in 1987, the toy line came to an unceremonious end. One of the major factors that led to that was you could get a variety of new heroes, a variety of new villains, but you couldn't get a standard He-Man or Skeletor. Now, they did come out with a laser light He-Man and a laser power Skeletor, but they were only available in Europe and they were not what we would call traditional looking He-Mans and Skeletors. That in my mind weren't as playable because they had an awkward play feature. Also in 1987, what we got was too little too late, but a Masters of the Universe live action movie starring Dolph Lundgren. And some of the characters made for that movie got figures. Blade, Saurad, Gwildor. But what we didn't get was a definitive movie version of He-Man. Now, that laser power He-Man we were talking about before did get a head sculpt swap that kind of looked a little bit more like Dolph Lundgren. However, in my mind, I like my He-Man to have the regular He-Man head. One of the things that made the line feasible and affordable back in the day was the creative way that Mattel used the same body parts and molds to create new characters. So today what we're going to do is we're going to take some of those first run figures and we're going to make a movie accurate version of He-Man that I believe, if released in 1987, may have helped the line survive. All right, so we're gonna make our attempt today at creating a 1987 movie version of He-Man. Um, now, I've seen a lot of customs online, and they're fantastic. If you put one out there, excellent job. They're all brilliant. But what I'm gonna try and do today is make one as if we were Mattel in 1987 making one, kind of with their making rules. Not a whole lot of new tooling, um, reuse of parts, kind of repaint, and keeping that classic He-Man look. So what we're gonna start with is um, we have a Triclops here who's missing the spinny part of his head, um, but he's a great basic body. And I wanted to have black trunks. Um, and this is the hardest part of a He-Man to, to repaint because his legs, the way they interact with it. So we're gonna keep that, uh, that torso there. And we're gonna use this, this head off of a uh, battle armor He-Man who has seen um, better days. So we're gonna take this head off, we're gonna put it onto this body, and then we're gonna go from there and see what we can do. And again, these heads are pretty soft, so they just kind of, if you squeeze them and carefully pull them out, they will pop off. Um, sometimes they're missing the plugs inside the bottom of them. Um, I have a, an extra plug right here that we can throw in there, and that keeps it in the, in the body a little bit better. So we're gonna throw this head onto this body and take it from there. I want kneeling at my feet. All right, so there's our base He-Man. Now he's got these orange cuffs. This one's only half painted. That's kind of a thing that the Masters of the Universe kind of did. They cut some corners back in the day. Um, and he's got an orange belt. So what I'm going to do is take some gold acrylic paint. I'm going to paint his belt and his armbands gold. Just to kind of give him uh, that gold and black look that he kind of had in the movie. And so there's our He-Man figure with the gold belt and wristbands, and I think our base figure is looking real good. So we have our old He-Man harness template here that we made up of a few videos ago. And so originally I thought about just doing this one again in black, and then the cross and the squares are doing them in gold. So it kind of looked like the original He-Man with a new paint scheme. Um, but I thought we would do something a little bit more movie accurate. So I've made up a, uh, a movie accurate harness here. So I'm just going to import it, and I'm going to size it to be the same as our last, our last one. And then we're going to put some decals and some decoration on it. Because he had, he had some um, shoulder pads and a bit of a different chest emblem. So we're just going to do this here and make it look um, the same size as that one. And then we'll be all set to go. 
And as always, all of our templates are downloadable from our Facebook page. And that's where you can find the template for the sword, the cape, and the harness. All right, so we have our He-Man painted up. We have our new uh, movie-style harness um, entered into our Cricut design space. And what we're going to do now is take this Mead 5-star first gear organizer that we got from the dollar store, cut this back cover off, and that's what our material is going to be for our harness. So let's get that done, and we'll run it through the Cricut. Now we did a little trial and error with this harness to get it right. At first we cut out just a basic shape and the plan was we were going to put decals on for the chest piece and for the shoulders. That didn't work out well. Then we decided we were going to paint over the decals with gold paint and remove them as kind of a stencil. And that was a bit of a disaster as well. The paint wasn't uh, doing what it was supposed to do. So then what we did was we scored the design into the, the harness and then cut it out a second time and just put a little bit of gold paint onto the etched areas and that really made it pop and they looked better than we could have imagined. The next step is to get the armor actually onto He-Man. Um, so it's all designed well and there's holes cut in the back so we are just going to take this armor and use some simple crafting wire to wire it together on his back. And you can see there, he's starting to look like the He-Man of the movie, so we're getting there. Alright, so now we're going to make He-Man a cape, because he had a cape in the movie. Um, the only cape that really existed in the vintage series was Hordax cape, which was kind of this thin um, vinyl cape. So we're going to kind of make one just like that. So I have this um, binder you can get from the Dollarama or any dollar store. And this plastic cover that they have on there is kind of similar to that um, material. So we're just going to cut a chunk of it out. And we're going to run it through the Cricut. So this binder material works fantastic for these um, kind of capes. I've made a number of Hordak replacement capes like this before. But this one I did a little different design, similar in that it has the little tabs on the front of it. And it's this material that's a bit of a more grandiose cape, but it's going to look just like the one that He-Man had in the movie. Now we're going to open up our design space and we're going to import the image of the movie sword so that we can cut one out for He-Man. We're going to be uh, cutting it out of that material that we have from the dollar store cat litter box, which has uh, been a staple here at Go Figure. And so we're just going to size it to be about four inches from tip to tip. I think is kind of the best, the best size for this. And then we're going to run it through the Cricut and cut out a sword. And once the machine cuts out the uh, He-Man sword here out of this material, all you do, like a old model kit, is you're going to pop out the design and pop off the extra, and it should pop off easy, and you'll have a gray version of the He-Man sword. All right, and then I just wrapped a little bit of electrical tape around the handle, gave a little bit of gold paint in the hilt, and it looks pretty great. And when you put all the elements together, you get a vintage-style movie version of He-Man that I think does the job quite nicely. So there you go. There's our take on 1987 Masters of the Universe movie version of He-Man. He's going to look great on my shelf. I hope you can take this recipe or elements of it or inspiration from it and create your own. Let us see the He-Mans that you make and add to your collection. Let's see how many movie He-Mans we can get made. If you like what we're doing, if you had fun today, please like, subscribe, hit the bell, do all the YouTube stuff, and we'll see you next time.